Now let's take a look at using the RSI, also known as the Relative Strength Index. The RSI shows how strong a stock is moving in the current direction and can give insight into whether a stock is overbought or oversold. The RSI is calculated using a stock's closing prices over a selected period of time. On a day chart, the RSI typically represents a 14-day period, but this can be changed for short-term or long-term trading. It's plotted on a vertical scale from 0 to 100 and is typically located either at the top or bottom of your candlestick chart. The RSI is considered overbought when above 70 and oversold when below 30. This can provide insight into a stock's momentum and show you how strong a stock's up days are compared to their down days. The price will typically remain in or moving towards the oversold level during downtrends and vice versa for uptrends. During an uptrend or a downtrend, the RSI usually bounces off the middle line multiple times until the trend is broken. This can be an indicator of a potential reversal. When the RSI is over 70 or below 30 and diverged from the price action, this could also be a warning of a possible trend reversal. The RSI is considered to be a leading indicator because it tends to change directions before the stock actually reverses. When this occurs, this is called a divergence and can be a leading signal for trading. The Relative Strength Index is great for analyzing a stock's strength in a current direction, but this indicator would not be enough to make an intelligent trading decision. The RSI should not be used alone when trading, but simply as a part of your strategy and combined with other indicators. Stocks and other assets can remain overbought or oversold much longer than you would think. But if a stock is oversold and you also receive other buy signals or indicators, this could be a great point to enter a trading position. So now let's go over how to analyze stocks with the RSI indicator on our candlestick chart. To add the RSI to your chart on TradingView, let's click the indicator icon and search for Relative Strength Index. So here's the RSI indicator at the bottom of our candlestick chart. The RSI is plotted on a scale that ranges from 0 to 100. If the RSI goes above 70, the stock price is in the overbought territory. Below 30, the stock is considered oversold. So let's take a look at the price action when the RSI went into the oversold and overbought territories for this stock. If the RSI goes above 70, this means the stock is starting to get overbought and a market top is likely forming. So if we look here, we can see that the stock was in a rally, but then the RSI went above 70 and the stock had a pullback. The RSI went down to almost the oversold territory and the uptrend was ready to continue. After the RSI cools off and gets closer to the oversold area, this would be the time to start looking for an entry point. From here, the stock resumed its uptrend, but the RSI went back into the oversold territory around here. The RSI is a great tool for seeing when a stock is either overbought or oversold, but the stock can remain overbought or oversold for much longer than you may think. The RSI remained in the overbought territory for the entire last leg of this rally. This is why you should combine the RSI with other indicators and signals to select the best entry and exit points. After bouncing off the top resistance level for a while, the stock then had a massive pullback. The RSI also followed the price down all the way into the oversold territory. This would have been the time to start using other indicators and signals to start looking for your entry point. From here, you can see that the trend reversed and the stock began to climb higher. The RSI also followed the stock up and is almost back at the overbought territory. When using the Relative Strength Index, you can also look for divergences as a leading indicator of a trend reversal. If we look at the chart here, you can see that the stock was in a strong uptrend and continued to make new highs. But if we look at the RSI, we can see that it started to cool off. This is a strong indicator that the stock's uptrend will likely reverse soon. You can see that right after the divergence, the stock price corrected and began to fall. So those are some basics for using the RSI for trading. Remember to combine it with other indicators and signals before making entry and exit points. I'll see you in the next video.